So when I last left my body, it was over here. When I gave you my world save. Welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. And I am drawing chaos and we're having a ton of fun. Alright, so if I right click this, I split the thing. And I have to say that because somebody will ask me, what am I doing? We'll put you here. And we'll pull the lever. It'll go off again. We'll pull the lever again because this thing is weird. It'll go off one. Oh, it didn't go off one more time. And hypertube away! Huzzah! So in the last episode, we named our trains after Harry Potter characters and Harry Potter locations because I love me some Harry Potter. And then we built all of this. Basic production. This is humongous. Yeah. Sorry about the flashbang of uh, Fuse Broken, but, you know, it, it happens. So, yeah, I have a ton of screws. I have all this wire. I have cable, rods, plates. I have, ooh, what were the other ones? Uh, concrete. Steel beams, steel pipes, quick wire. Man, I got everything I need to start building, right? Wrong. Incorrecto. We need two more things. Well, a little more than two more things. Over in this location, I had a bunch of crap. Wait, where is it? All right, let's close up this one and let's put on resources. Yay. So I... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's like right on the edge, too. There's two quartz nodes I have over here. And those quartz nodes went all the way to my starter base and was making me all the quartz stuff that I need. But now that I'm building a mid-tier base, I'm going to need even more. Well, actually, I'm just going to need those two, but a little bit upgraded. Also, I want to grab this nice little Sam ore that we have here. I want to grab this... Wait, this is a normal node? Oh, well, this one right here. I want to grab this pure sulfur node. And I see these two over here. One's a pure, one's an impure. I want to grab these two coal nodes. Now, the pure one will be for manufacturing and whatnot. And this basic little one over here should be able to fill everything for what I have planned. Because today, we're going for some fun. We're building ourselves some trucks. Haha! <laughs> Tractors can use any type of fuel and have a self-driving feature, much like Pioneers, only more reliable. While driving, you can record a path to automate vehicle resource transportation. Unlike early self-driving vehicles, tractors will not spy on you. You don't know that. Your employee data is already fully subject to other means of surveillance. Oh, okay, you do know that. What? You're not going to spy on me? You're so cute. Wait, does that mean the truck spies on me? Because you didn't say anything about the truck. Anywho, so I want to build truck stations and tractor stations and whatnot. But the question is, where? So I'm thinking that if you like this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be annoyed. Anywho, so I'm thinking... Wait, am I getting this on the right one? I gotta make sure I'm getting on the right one. So, okay, so these two are going to be the basic ones. So you little bugger, vertical, come down here. And two over, vertical, come down here. And right here will be our nice little entrance. And then we can zoop you across. Boom. And then we'll just bring this to the shoreline. And then we can just start bringing trucks in here. And then what we can do is we can zoop this across like here and build all the trucks in here. Or at least the truck stations. That should be fun, right? <laughs> It'll add a little extra movement. And here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of the trucks. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. God, I love infinite zoop. Oh, is it going to hit that stupid little thing right there? No. Why must you do this to me? Okay. You know what we can do? Hmm, maybe right here? Ooh. Let us go into our foundations. We're going to go this one and... Oh, let's go one more back. 
because, you know, we're going to need the room. I mean, that's good enough, right? Voila. I mean, is that going to be enough for trucks? Yeah. <laughs> Time to find out. All right. My first task is building us a truck stop. Nothing special, but I figure with the sand more that I have over here, I can test it out and see how exactly well hard it's going to be. Because from what I understand, all I got to do is put the thing in here, give it power, and then I just have to have an area for trucks. So it drives over here and then it goes down or it comes up and goes over. I don't know. But one of the things I did have to do is I had to climb this massive ladder. Could you imagine if I put this whole thing in the video where I'm climbing the ladder and not just skip to the top like magic? So this little bugger over here is a Miner Mark II and I'm only doing 240 resources per minute. So let's up that to 300 for no apparent reason other than it's fun, which means I have to up the production of the belt. So this one, this one, let's up this one and then we are going to up this one. Now, granted, I don't need magic for this because I can just splat. Or, of course, use my nice little uh, jetpack. And there we go. We have our first train or not train station. We have our first truck station with 300 resources per minute. Now, granted, I'm really not worried about moving it over there because it's not that far away. The other one's coming down the hallway. Now, here's the thing. I want my trucks to be able to go through this area, but unfortunately, it's a little bit uh, flush and we can't have that. So, of course, we're going to have to use some cluster noblesks because where would the fun be if we didn't like, you know, carpet bomb the area? And oh boy, does it help with clearing things out? Oh, shoot. I ran right into that. Well, actually, almost. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it's just the little things in life that just you, it keep you going. Oh my god. I wish we could throw these faster. I'm, I'm sure someone's probably going to tell me that there's a mod. That allows me to just whip, like, cluster noblest out everywhere, like I'm carpet bombing the area. Oh, but it should just, like, I should be able to throw these as fast as I can click them. That'd be great. Yay! And it's good! Oh, God. That is so much fun. Oh, yeah, run, Mr. Bean, run. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, little birdie. Must resist urge. Uh, I wasn't doing anything. So, oh yeah. So, okay. We're going to clear the area. Oh, jeez. How did I walk right through that? I'm a wizard. <laughs> All right. Let me keep clearing stuff out because this is a little bit of fun. I'm going to be taking a while. Here we go. All right, I got these two built over here. This is gonna take care of my quartz. And these ones that are over here, I actually have Miner Mark II and two power shards. I'd go three, but unfortunately I can't take more than 480 resources per minute. Though that would be pretty cool. But at least there's room to grow once I get aluminum. Aluminium? Which is the fun one to say. I don't know. Now all we got to do is we grab our power line and we're going to bring her all the way up here. And over here. Deep into the woods until we get... Where did I put my magical power source? Oh, there it is. And voila. All right. So now my quartz crystal is going to be filled up. And then if we follow this magical power line... Ow. All the way into oblivion. Get away from that guy a little quick. Right over Mir, I have two locations. I have that one over there and this one over here. 
Now for the fun part. Time to build some train or truck station. Why do I keep wanting to say train stations? Time to finally build some truck stations inside here. All right, let's do it. And then the next one. You know, we'll spread this one out a bit more. We'll probably go like out to here or something like that. And then just got to build like six of them. I wonder if this is going to cause any issues. <laughs> one way to find out, am I right? All right, time to do our first path. And we're going to use coal for this one. All right, we're going to get in our tractor. Press the Q button and we will start recording. All right, let us go. Get close, press F. I know a little bit. Riding along my automobile. Or stuck in at the wheel. Whoa! Okay, I, I might have to do a better job doing these paths. Right, Mr. Bean? Oh, you don't know nothing. Oh, he's causing problems. Oh, God! Get her stuck? Nope. Oh, God. That will forever be in the path. I'm sure it won't cause any issues, right? Uh, can my, can my, uh, stations just be AI generated? <laughs> I'm not very good at this. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't get my driver's license yet. Get out of the road. Oh, God. What? Bruh. Sorry! Sorry, my bad. Sorry, 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 not sorry. You're a tough little bugger. He tripped, I swear. Alright, and then we hop over here. Curve around and look at this entranceway. This is going to be so cool watching all these different trucks drive over here. Now, because this only gives me like uh, 150 per minute, I figure, you know, it doesn't need a big truck. Nice little sugar cube. Get me over here. Press F. Let's peel out. Dude, I'm like NASCAR in it. This is not good. Now all I got to do is safely and securely drive back. Right? Right. God dang it, get out of the road. What did I tell you? You little bugger. Yep, that is staying in the recording. That right there was awesome. Mr. Bean, you're in the recording. Mr. Bean, what are you doing? Okay, you want to come with? Whoa. 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 I'm popping wheelies. Hey, what happens if I go backwards? Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't drive. I mean, I couldn't drive before, but I definitely can't drive now. Oh, are you laughing at me? <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, I might have to re-record this. I don't know why. <laughs> It was all going so perfectly well until it wasn't. Jeez. All right, there we go. What? All right, what if I drive backwards? Will that help? Surprisingly, it will. All right, Mr. Bean, hang on. I'm not the best driver forwards, but you know. He's going to fall off and something bad's going to happen. All right. Target acquired. Okay. Re really? Did I just trap him? No, he's good. C oh, come on. 
Okay, so I'm gonna re-record this because I think I might have messed up a few nodes here or there. I have a strange feeling. But that's pretty much how you have to do it. And then you drive all the way back to your original spawn point where you started. You know, and then there you are, like right like that. And we will just enable autopilot. A fun little sugar cube that used 55 coal. Oh crap, that might might need more coal. Yeah, that sounds like a future problem. Alright, start recording. Waited in some uh, big old shrucks. We're almost done with this. It might be taking a little bit extra, but it's really fun to drive these things around. Whoa! Now, they're a little dangerous, and I recommend going slow, because God knows what happens if you go quickly. Mr. Bean, you're in the recording! Mr. Bean, what are you doing? Okay, you want to come with? Whoa! 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 I'm popping wheelies! Look at this big old truck. I wish we could name these things, though. Why can't we name these like we can name trains? I want to name my little sugar cube. This could be Kevin. Oh, wait, which one am I going with on this one? I think it's the fourth one. Oh, come on! Move! Yeah, bitch. Okay. Whoa! I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. I'm sure there's no way in hell this will cause a problem. I am real curious as though how much fuel this is using. So, nine per minute on this one. That's actually not too bad. What are we doing on this one? 17 per minute. But these two should have the big uh, tractor trailer, 17. Okay, and then this one is about six per minute. Okay, so we're trying to make sure that these right here only have about 150 total per minute. So I still got two more to put in. One's gonna be coal and one's gonna be sulfur. All right, now I did my best with the truck recording. Okay, I'm not the best driver. Like, I'm, sh I'm sure this is probably my fault right here. Hey, we're driving here. Get out of the way. What, what is it doing? I'm pretty sure I did not record this. Is it because I'm on top of it? Like the beam? That would be crazy. Well, I'm just going to turn blue and just move out of the way. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> no, uh, but I'm not the best driver and everything, but I did get all the recording set up and we are ready to go for the next step. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh. All right, this might be an issue. I don't know. I don't really know what... Vehicle deadlock? Vehicle deadlock? Where? Already? What? What are the odds my horrible driving cause a problem? Why don't these things, like, just, you know, go around? Oh, so I'm driving it, you're fine, but... <laughs> Yo! Alright, that was pretty fun. Alright, so yeah, everything's set up, and now it's time to actually work on the thing. I wonder if I'm far enough away that it'll just kind of, like, you know, write itself out or whatever, you know. Or not. Maybe there'll be another deadlock somewhere. God damn it. I'm... No, no, not another one. What is going on? Oh lordy. I have it going on both ends. Wait. Scratch that. That's on the internet forever. Okay, so let's go check out this one and see what happened over here. I'm I'm Are there three over here? I think there's three. What did you guys do? Oh god, no! Big brother, no! Screw you! There we go. Whoa! Stop it! Hey! Get off me! A little bugger. Ah, they figured it out. Okay, so I have everything coming in. But first, to figure out how to fix all these deadlocks. It's troubleshooting time! Yay! 
All right, fixed a couple deadlocks. I troubleshooted a little bit and then I got my lines coming over, going down, coming over and going straight all the way down there. God, I love these under, under the whatever ceiling mounts. Yeah. So now that I got everything coming all the way over here, I'm going to have it going back up into this underfloor. See, the biggest issue is I want this to be like OCD friendly, symmetrical. And like, it would be really cool if I had like these floor ceilings just going straight up, like somewhere around here. But then again, it would block this area right here, but I don't really care about that. You know, that would actually kind of look perfect because as you're walking here, you could see stuff just going up there. But then the question is, what do we have going down here that would get in the way? Oh, pipes. Yeah. Yeah, these pipes might get in the way. But I can move these, right? Like, what if I put, like, this little bugger, like, back here? And then had it go in, and then they just kind of go over. And then this one, all I would have to do is I would have to just bring this one down to, let's see the center right here just have it coming down and then this can open this up and then all the no more dad locks no and then i just have this stuff come up just go over and all there easy peasy once i finish some troubleshooting let's go what, what what's happening now all right good news bad news good news i've got material going up easy peasy everything's fixed bad news is I literally have almost all my trucks just kind of stuck. <laughs> I tried switching out with just the, the regular trucks instead of the big ones, figuring that that might actually help. Turns out it still caused problems. You know, in the time it's taken me to do these trucks, I could have probably brought all this stuff over here on belts. Not gonna lie. But you know what they say, in for a penny, in for a pounding. All right, it's time to start turning this into something useful. So similar to what I did over there, I kind of want to utilize this space on this floor to turn some of this stuff into things. So we have two 480 belts of quartz. So we'll start off with that because that's pretty, you know, obvious one to do. <laughs> pretty obvious. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did on everything else. Uh, orange on the inside and then green on the outside, right in the middle. There we go. Now we just have to pay the math budget. So we have two things to choose from. We have quartz crystals and we have silica. Okay. And this space right here holds 12. So if I click it all away, there we go. So we have 12. Now it's funny because if you look at these, there's some weird numbers. So 37.5 raw quartz, and this one is 22.5 raw quartz. That's crazy. How am I going to figure something out? Well, with the power of teamwork, this 37.5 plus this 22.5 equals 60. Yep. Can't get much simpler than that. If you're going to make quartz, might as well just split it right down the middle. One side quartz crystal, one side silica, and just go. A bear splitter, we'll just put a splitter right here. A splitter right here. And uh, can you fit? You can't fit. Bam. All right, we'll just do you here. Do you. Vehicle deadlock. I haven't seen that in like five minutes. I've read into all the stuff and it still didn't work. Oh man, that's a lot of trick. <laughs> These things are the bane of my existence. Huh. Oh lordy. That's all of them. That is all of them. We have a trifecta. I read it all the routes and they're still getting messed up. Maybe my driving is just that bad. Someone take away my license, <laughs> but not my license to build. All right, there we go. I finished up our nice, beautiful ports. And now I have that being made. 
Now, granted, I might have, uh, well, I, I might have, um, distributed the claims a little bit, uh, differently. So these are all making quartz crystals, where this is all making silica, that's all making quartz crystals, and that's all making silica. Because once it fills up, it should run efficiently. But speaking of efficiently, it's time to revamp the truck station. Yep, I know. I don't know. It's been a pain in the butt. I haven't been building it correctly. I get it. Yes, the vehicle deadline. I get it. Calm down. All right, so not another one. I haven't even made it over there. You got no, really right in front of me. You're going to do that in front of me. We're on camera, you know. Oh, I, I said we're on camera. D bro, yeah. Yeah, better back off. Lordy. Okay, so I'm going to redo... It looks like this station is causing some issues. Really? Why not? Yeah, you just join the fun too. Why not? Everybody in here. Let's get... <sighs> Anywho... So these stations are causing issues, and I think it's because of where they're placed on here. So I might have to redo the stations. I'll probably have to put them in the middle, so they go, so that the uh, trucks they go through, they go in the middle, and then they come over, and then there's like a nice little loop where they don't overlap. Because I was checking the other ones over there, and all I had to do was keep, really. We're gonna get everybody over here. This can be fun. All right, so I was checking the nodes over here, and as long as I keep to one side for each one of them, it seems to be working just fine. Now there's a few crossover points, unfortunately, but there's like nothing I can do about that. Although there should be something I can do about this. This looks crazy. Yeah, so like this one going over here, I, it's gonna have to go through something, so. Yes, I get it. Vehicle deadlock. Two or more of your automatic vehicles are stupid and can't figure out how to drive around. I thought they drove around. Well, wasn't that like an update? Hmm. Let me revamp the underscale and see how that goes. I'm not going to lie. This actually came out quite nicely. So I have them coming over here and then anytime they turn off, they turn off, they go in there, they stop and then they go over. So there should be no overlap. And it's pretty condensed, I gotta say. Like, I'm using only sugar cubes because, well, why not? And then I'm looking at the stuff. So like, we got seven. So we're gonna have to add this up real quick. We have six, really, only six for that, seven. So the sugar cubes take half as much as the big one. But they also don't use a lot either. Seven. All right. So eight. Okay. So we have six of these. So even eight times six, it's still only 48. So we get plenty of coal to hold up on these really good. So we should be fine. We could double this up if the production's not there. So now that we got that, we can start working on our next thing, which is compacted coal. So let's make our way up there. Mr. Bean! Oh. Don't scare me like that. You little bugger. He, is, he spawns there every single time. He loves it there. So, take a look at this. This is my general idea for assemblers. They can fit in the exact same space, but unlike the other ones that have the inputs in the center, input... And then the output on the outside? Yeah. These have the output in the center, so they can be as compact as possible. And they're all set to compacted coal. Now here's the thing. 25 and 25 to make 25. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 10 on one side, which is 250. 10 on the other side, which is 250. So all I need is 500. But I don't have 500. I don't even have a 500 belt which is sad, but making 480 of these per minute is still pretty good. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm okay with that. And with the power of editing magic, we are complete. 
and we are making ourselves 480 compact to go per minute not too bad well uh, hopefully it's gonna be 480 i don't know how well those trucks actually work and we'll we'll just have to see yeah we got compacted coal baby let's go now what am i gonna do with this compacted coal what is the whole point well i hinted about it earlier i'm going to turn this right here this fuel that i'm making into turbo fuel and the easiest way to do that is to get rid of all these fuel generators bye bye first question of the day how much fuel are we making so we know how much turbo fuel we can make this little guy's making 40 this little guy's making 40 and this guy 20 so we have one hondo fuel per minute and the only recipe i have is my current turbo fuel recipe right Let's see turbo fuel yep turbo fuel in the refinery at 18.75 oh it's terrible numbers 22.5 okay so that would mean i would need five of them which means 15 times five math budget away 75 and i'm making so much extra more uh how much am i making so if i'm turning 22.5 into 18.75 that would mean a I would need a hundred divided by twenty two point five times eighteen point seven five will give me eighty three point three 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 repeating. But so that means that I would need five of these minimum. So if I had two of these, that'd be fine. Or if I had one power share, we could just make 90 and that that'll be enough right there. And then what we can do is we can go into our organization, get our industrial storage. But you, well, I'll just put you here. H to hold. Make sure you're in the middle, because I do like my OCD. And then what we can do is we can grab this one up here, put this one on the top. So basically all this comes down and it's going to go in here and we're going to put in a smart splitter so what it's going to do is going to fill up this whole entire thing and once this is filled up and i can grab anything from the depot i'll have the rest of it go into a awesome sink so that it keeps flowing so that we keep making plastic and rubber because remember this is all byproduct that we're just utilizing for fun it is finally time we have turbo fuel being automated now there's one small little problem See this little thing right here? It's, well, it's filled with turbo fuel, but unfortunately it's not filled with containers. Because although this is making us 90 per minute, and we're only using like 83, uh, it still takes a hot minute. But we have some turbo fuel and I can't wait to have some fun with this. All right, let's see. Go in, preferred choice, turbo fuel, and then, Whoa! Oh my god, I gotta be careful. Oh, that goes so much faster than the other one. In more ways than one. We. <laughs> so, yes, our good old, uh, what is it? Uh, liquid biofuel is fun. Oh, <laughs> So liquid biofuel is a lot of fun. It lasts forever and it's really good, but turbo fuel has that extra mm. So if you want to climb up something really fast But the problem is for distance like this Like look how fast I'm utilizing that before I actually get anywhere So yeah, it's fun to utilize but oh is it like a, a tricky bugger I prefer the liquid biofuel for regular kind of like moving around, but for fun, nothing beats some turbo fuel. Well, that is until I get the next fuel type because I heard that one is just amazing. All right, so what else is there to do? Well, we still have to process one more thing, and that is the Sam ore. And here's the thing, I upgraded it, so now we're producing 300 per minute 
So let's put you in the center. And then make sure... Oh, yeah, you're not in the center. I love the hold button. It really does help things a lot. And to nudge. Oh, amazing. All right. Reanimated Sam. What you doing? 120 to make 30. Which is a 4 to 1 recipe. So, uh, we have 300. And if I build three of these, one here and one mirror, then all I would need is 100 per one. So, what's that? 25? So, 25? Yeah. There we go. Bam. It's great to learn because knowledge is power. Bam. Oh, oh, and then the best part about that is, where is it? All I have to do is put one splitter. And then one merger. And because I don't really care about uh, utilizing the best belts in the world. There we go. Now we just need power. Oh, I have an idea. Huh. Let us put you here. Oh, that'll only give us two. So why not? Upgrade wall outlet mark two. Let's go. And then we will hook you all up. And there we go. Now the Sam ore is being made into reanimated Sam. But here's the thing. I don't need reanimated Sam in my depot at all because there's nothing that's really used for it like reanimated Sam so it's used in a recipe but that recipe doesn't need to be in the depot because it's not used as any building material like the uh I think it's called Sam fluctuator there we go Sam fluctuator now, this is used to make one of the dimensional depots. But the SAM isn't used for anything in terms of building. So I wouldn't need it in a depot at all. Right? Because I'm not going to handcraft any SAM fluctuators. So I think we'll just leave it like this and probably put one bin. Probably fit one of these guys right here. And there we go, it just loaded up right there and it's there for when I want to go into Sam Fluctuators. Hell yeah! So I think that might be it for this episode. We were able to get ourselves three brand new sets of stuff and some trucks and they're actually working right. Check this out. No deadlocks. The only thing is I do wish I could actually name them something. Mm, that would be so much better. But I can name the uh, truck stations. I mean, I do got the Harry Potter theme. What if I name the truck stations after Death Eaters? Oh, that's actually kind of fun. What do I have? I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. I have twelve. Wait, doesn't doesn't Voldemort have twelve like main Death Eaters he uses? Oh my god, it's just it's just coming together. It's just coming together. I I, I, I didn't even plan that. It, it, just, it just works. It just works. So when I figure out what those 12 Death Eaters are, uh, I will definitely edit those and put those in. But I think that's going to be it for today. I appreciate all of you for joining and coming this far. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or stuff you want to see me work on next. I will be trying to get into mid-tier parts. So right now I've used all of the constructors. So got it, 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 got it. Don't really care. Don't really care. Don't really care. Don't really care. And don't really care. So in terms of constructor, we are done with constructors. Now we need to start working on assembler problems. So we need ourselves some reinforced iron plates, modular frames, encased industrial beams, uh, circuit boards, uh, AI limiters, crystal computers? 
Maybe. Maybe. Solid maybe. Uh, no fabric, really. Rotors, stators, motors, yep, all that good stuff. I might make one thing make automated miners. Because I kind of seem to be using them. And I want to expand on stuff. So I might have one in a bin somewhere, you know, just, just for fun. And then I'm not really worried about anything down here. So we'll take that one away. Take that one away. I'll take that one away. Please get rid of that one. <laughs> And then, lastly, we'll worry about space elevator parts after we get everything going. But yeah, that's going to be going forward, and we're going to be utilizing this space over here and going up a couple more levels and just, just, just having fun with it. This has been a blast. I love 1.0. And we haven't even gotten to Fixmas, which is coming up soon, but we will not do a Fixmas episode right away. Don't worry about that. We're going to save that for later on. All right. Don't worry. I understand. I know. You want to see Winter Wonderland, and I want to build it, but we're waiting. All right. I've rambled on enough. I'm going to get out of here. Peace. Bow.